hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you four useful tricks in vs code the basic ones you might know already all right okay the first one is using the command palette all right let me show you an example so then i will show you how what else you can use with command palette this is my uh, json content and i have not saved it this is just a copy paste right so quickly i want to format this into form proper json format so what i do I go to command palette and then select format json quick right so what i did let me undo this right go to view go to command palette and you have this uh, add in i mean plug in you have to install of course right so if i click format json okay irrespective of whether it's saved as dot json or something you can format this in a json format this looks cool right okay the other thing with command palette is uh, you can quickly change the python version uh, you can change the default version of your python from your um, vs code right so go to command plan select python interpreter okay i have multiple uh, versions already installed so right now it's selected uh, as the 2.7 is selected you can choose any one I mean from the list available so you can quickly switch between different versions of python this is very handy for me because i be generally switch between uh, 2.7 and uh, 3.7 or 8 right so i can uh, quickly change between and run my script as i'm expecting right so that's about command uh, palette and where to go go to view go to command palette and then see here and not just that you have plenty of other options you can change the entire behavior of your uh, ID. Okay, so that's the number one uh, trick. And uh, the second uh, one is, so this is, how do you change, uh, for example, this is my uh, simple Python code and I have, I'm using some arguments, right? To, de to debug, you need to pass the parameters, command line arguments. So yeah, when you execute from the CLI or the command prompt, you can pass. But in IDE, you have to put it in some place. So for VS Code, it has to be under open, I mean, configurations. So this is your config, config file, which holds the parameters, right? So if you, if you can put any number of arguments here, so that same, uh, parameters will be passed into your ARGS. So the trick here is, what if you have, uh, I mean, be because you are switching between multiple versions, definitely you want to have multiple uh, configurations. I mean, this script may be expecting one set of arguments and you have another file which is expecting different set of arguments. For that, you have to create a different workspace, right? So for example here, uh, if I go to run, open configuration, see this here, this is CLI code.workspace, right? So CLI is the workspace name. That means this is my works, this file is under workspace called CLI. So if I have to create one more file which holds a different set of arguments, you have to create a new workspace. For example, let me open this. Okay, so this is my new file. I'll go here and say open configuration. You see, right? The same same file is opening, but it's actually a different file, right? So what I do, uh, go here and then uh, add this folder to workspace, right? So obviously the workspace is folder level. So, but this these two files are in the same location. So I have to put it into different uh, folder and then add that as a, workspace that way you can create a new uh, set of arguments in a new config file right so that is the trick number two and the trick number three is to have a split screen right so we know this screen appearing here uh, the actual trick is not to have a split screen but how to uh, remove it so it was quite annoying right so if you keep on pressing this yeah, there's no end. I don't know there is an end. 
but uh, yeah this is not handy because maximum we can have two two three is okay but beyond that i don't think it's any good so how to close this there is no option here right so you can close but uh, you will lose that file from the ide without closing what's the option you have okay so i mean it's not handy the trick is to find where the option to uh, move to one window i mean re remove all the split screens so go to view appearance or layout and then select single right so this is how you get rid of that split screen and yeah there is a shortcut to create a split screen but there is no shortcut to create or remove the split screen right so this is the shortcut command slash but there is no shortcut to yeah, there is no shortcut to remove the split screen only way to view editor single that's tick number two and uh, the fourth one okay you want to have a clean view so you want to concentrate on your code only remove all these clutters the menus the left left hand uh, sidebar all these things so for that you go to um, view appearance and then say zen mode right so nothing you can see here it's all clean only one script whatever you are working on right so this we can call it as a concentration mode so you can write only the code or whatever you want nothing else is you know, distracting you right so i don't know how much useful this but uh, yeah this you, i mean you you can get uh, i mean for me i can see a bigger uh, screen and a uh, larger uh, area where i can see all my code in one place instead of having it in a smaller window so yeah that is uh, that's all uh, folks uh, for today and uh, in mac i will uh, okay how to get rid of this zen mode escape twice press escape key twice right so let me do it view appearance zen mode okay press escape twice that's how get out of uh, zen mode all right so the other option i'm going to tell you is uh, as a bonus one yeah how to set default editor or uh, application to open any file right so right now this is uh, this file is associated with visual uh, code if you want to change this yeah go right click i mean this is mac specific okay get info and there is an option to say open with right so i have uh, uh, these many options available and I'll select text edit change all this is important use this application to open all documents like this right if you don't uh, uh, do this only this file will be opened in uh, the selected application if you do change all then everything whenever you open dot py file it will be opened in a text editor text edit okay so and yeah this is what okay yeah even though it's still associated with the uh, I, I think if you refresh it will be gone anyway it's opening in uh, I think after some time this this window should go I and mean, this icon should go right so that's all folks thanks for watching